Hello, my celestial beings. This is Mystic Storm here to clear the path to a new life with you. As a spiritual advisor, I help people like you find the inspiration, insight, clarity, and guidance they need along their spiritual journey. So this is going to be a pick a card on um, what adventure are you embarking on? And I chose this because as I'm filming this, we are in Sagittarius season. Um, so shout out to my Sagittarius, even though this is a timeless reading. So whenever you uh, find this, this is for you, okay? And with Sagittarius energy, it's all about travel, wisdom, higher learning, okay? So when we think about travel... We can think about it in a broader spectrum as going down our path, our spiritual journey. And through our journey, there are separate segments. <laughs> so what adventure are you embarking on? This could be an actual trip. This could be uh, an adventure of self-discovery. We're going to dive in to see what is coming up for you around this time, okay? So we have the pick card going on. I have... Three uh, animal spirit cards for you to choose from, okay? And just um, pick whatever card works best for you. There may be multiple that you would like to choose. There might be multiple messages for you within, within these piles. So use your intuition, use your discernment, and you got this, okay? So for group one, we have the zebra. Zebra. For group two, we have the otter. <laughs> yes. And group three, we have the starfish. Starfish. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you might be called to the animal spirit. You might be called to the number just take your time. You can pause the vid video if you need to, or you can go ahead and skip to your pal. I will have timestamps below for you to uh, look at. And yeah, and before we dive in, I will also say, um, make sure you go ahead and check out my website, msbotanica.com, where you can book readings. It can be um, astrology readings, tarot and oracle card readings. I even have Reiki healing sessions on there and more, okay? So make sure you check that out. And I got you, okay? Got you, yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. 303 is going to be Zebra. All right. All right, group number one, you chose the beautiful Zebra. Beautiful Zebra card. And with this card, what well, stands out to me, yes, because it's striped zebras have stripes, but also the uh, colorful triangle in the middle of the uh, of its head at the third eye. This is giving a lot of uh, creativity, a lot of um, uniqueness, artistic type energy. Um, this is also the fire element. So... With the fire element, this is a lot of passion. This is a lot of creativity. So this, um, you might be embarking on a creative project, a creative endeavor. Um, you might be on a road to waking up like your spiritual awakening, opening up your third eye, getting more um, insight, visions, things of that nature. Or this can also be a journey of self-love um, because it's, Embracing your uniqueness and being in a state of acceptance and shining in your authentic self. Okay, so yes, let's get into the tarot. I'm using the divine tarot at this time, and I actually I want to like scoop this. This probably just gonna be on for display because I already have. <laughs> like the card um, numbers, how I want to do this. So I'm excited. 
ancestors, guides, what messages, what guidance do you have for my group number ones? Give them the clearest message on what adventure are they embarking on. So this is past energy, present energy, where are you going, future energy, yes, what will you experience? That was, now it's how will you handle the challenges? Okay. And lessons and outcome. Okay. Awesome. So, we're going to start with the past energy. Past energy is Knight of Wands in reverse. So, Knight of Wands in reverse is uh, saying that you probably lack direction when it came to your creativity. You were probably very sporadic. Um, you probably um, maybe had your hands in too many different areas. You were trying to find yourself. Um, maybe even um, this, for some reason, I'm also picking up sexually because, um, you know, wands have to do with, you know, passion. That can be sex. You could could have um, maybe struggled with your sexuality. And that makes sense with the zebra here as far as like uniqueness or, you know, trying to be yourself and things like that. So um, past energy. And I feel like you, you wanted to, um, you thought that your actions would render results, but you found yourself always ending up on the short end of the stick. Okay, so that's past energy. Present energy, yeah, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So we went from the Knight of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Wands in reverse. And I feel like at this time, right now, you might um, be a little frustrated. A little, um, it's a lot of built up tension, maybe um, built up uh, like anxiety that's uh, going on here. There's something that you have to get off your chest, okay? And what I'm also thinking of is you may want to use this um, this release for your creative project uh, if you want to. Um, you know, a lot of people make hit albums off of their, you know, their pain or their struggles or their hardships because we all go through those type of emotions, you know, as much as we like to hide them. And with this Queen of Wands, we have... Um, the volcano that's why i was getting picking up on that but we also have um what i see this as pele even though this could be like moana or a type feel but i'm getting at the uh pele and um maybe also you keep things bottled up or you maybe um put yourself in a box because you don't know how to really express what you're wanting to uh, convey, okay? So we talked about like creative blocks, but we're also saying like what you're passionate about, how are you going to express that to the outside world? This could be a lot of built up frustration uh, within self, within other relationships, okay? Um, also, with the lack of direction in the past, with, from the night, we go on to the queen now. So queen is all about uh, receptivity, nurturing, all these things. So with that being said, presently, you may be in, the, in, the, in need of some TLC, of some nurturing. You maybe need to tap in to some self-care, self-love. This may very well be a self-love journey as I described with the um, zebra energy as um, as your crowning energy for the animal spirit, okay? So yeah, that's your present energy. A little frustrated, you know, what am I doing next? How you, you're not getting the results that you want. Maybe you're not getting the recognition that you want, okay? Um, but there's still, with these wands here, 
There's still passion here. How can you transmute that uh, passion to into something that is in the physical realm? Um, yes, it might be a little chaotic or sporadic, but find systems, you know, there, you know how it's, um, there's a method to my madness type thing. Um, own it, you know, don't, uh, down yourself about that. Okay. So, um, a lot of creatives are messy, <laughs> so it's okay. So, um, as long as you're not cluttered within, uh, the mind, if you need to clear space, if you need to let out some steam, if you need to release, then definitely do so, especially with the Queen of Wands. We talked about the nurturing aspect, okay? Okay, and then we have where are you going, like the future energy. Ten of coins. Ten of coins. I love this because this shows that in due time, in due season, everything that you are visualizing, that you're you are desiring right now, that you might not see physically taking root. If you keep working towards these things, they will render results. You may um with um where are you going in the future energy, you may be going to visit family, maybe. Definitely with the Ten of Coins. With family matters, you may want to visit family or talk to a family member about um, certain situations to um, to see how, you know, like we all go through, especially like generational lessons, generational lessons. I want to um, put, put that on because you may find that your elder has some wisdom for you as well. And also within the future energy, I'm picking up that patience. I feel like patience is where you are, the lesson that you have to learn through this, even though I have another card for like the lessons, but patience in, um, tending and growing what you're wanting to create okay because um coins or pentacles um is earth energy and that's the slowest moving energy and with the zebra being fire and right now you're very passionate you won't go right but at the same time you have to get that stability you have to get that groundedness i feel like um that's where the wisdom is for you you are uh, heading towards taking things slow, getting um, maybe even going to an elder. It doesn't have to be within your family, but within your community. As far as to get wisdom, this is also like coaching. You may want to uh, get into maybe a certain group for like-minded individuals as well. That could help um, get you along this journey as well. All right. Next is, what will you experience? Ten of Swords in Reverse. Ten of Swords in Reverse. So, with this, there is, I feel like there's going to be a shedding uh, of your mental programs. So, this is, yeah, what will you experience? So, you would experience a lot of maybe shadow aspects as far as going through um, the darkness as far as like the subconscious mind going through those limited beliefs and uh, shedding old skin. Um, also, you may be, uh, you may find yourself in resistance, okay? Uh, in, res in resistance of letting the old concepts of you go. Maybe letting, maybe you have trouble letting go of um, the frustration or the anger or because that's what fueled you at, at one point. So it's like, how can you recreate um, or transmute the energy that um, of your creativity to make sure that it, it it's long lasting and not short lived or not um, that will have steady, steady outcome instead of just 
burst of it. You just come out every once in a while with something where you can find a system in place to where it will render um, better results for you long term. Okay. And then we have how to handle your challenges. We have two of wands. Two of wands. So the challenges that you may face in um, this adventure uh, that you're embarking on, the adventure of creativity, adventure of self-love, um, I'm getting weighing, finding balance, weighing out your options, finding a balance between um, your masculine and your feminine energy. Also, making sure that you take time to enjoy life. Enjoy, yeah, just enjoy life. Because there's small moments throughout the day. I feel like you may be constantly on go as far as like a rat race, trying to prove yourself. But um, just know, accepting the multifaceted being that you are okay and then two of wands also it gives like reflection reflection before you step out into um your journey your path right looking at um or observation instead of reflection so uh, how to handle challenges yeah so yeah reflect meditate Weigh out your options using tools that you have to work through some anger problems, work through some frustration or burnout. Also, how can you get longevity working through your emotions? Okay, because emotions are very prominent here, right? Um, working through those emotions and enjoying your time here in the moment in your journey during while you're embarking on this path that you're on okay and then we have lessons and outcome so lessons and outcome we have four of cups in reverse four of cups in reverse so the lessons here is to appreciate all things is to not lose sight of what you're here to do, yes, but also what you call in, what you're creating. Don't lose sight of what you're creating and dismiss it. Um, take pride in what you do, yes, and also do not be afraid to show what, you know, your talents, who you are, what you believe in, okay? This is opening up to share your story, sing your song, learning who you are and embracing that, okay? That's the lessons that you learn through this process. The lessons are to not overlook your talents, to not um, play yourself small, and to also share. You know, the outcome is you're going to share what it is that you've been through, share what you experienced. Remember I said creative endeavors, like a lot of people can write songs through this, poems, a story, something that's going to, so you're gonna create something that's going to maybe royalties long-term, that's a passive income. Well, it won't be passive uh, at first, but a residual income, you know what I'm saying? Um, whatever you create of substance, um, even if it's just intellectual property like music, you're going to get rewarded for that constantly over and over, okay? Okay, yes. All right, 
yeah, that was the last one. So I'm going to pull one Oracle card to send you on your way, group one. If you liked this reading, make sure you give me a comment. I do love interacting with you all. If you don't want to share your whole testimony, that's okay. Give me the heart with the flame emoji. The heart with the flame emoji. Love it. All right. Spirit, what's the final message for group number one? What do they need to know to send them on their way? Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Okay? So open yourself up to creating meaningful connections. You never know who might um, know someone that knows someone that can help you get where you need to go, okay, to help you along your journey. Or you may connect with some people to help you heal, you know, as far as to embrace yourself, to love yourself, okay? So it all, it all works out, group number one. And I hope that you uh, feel, you know, some encouragement on this. If you do want to dive a little deeper on this, make sure you hit me up on msbotanica.com to uh, book a reading, okay? All right, we're going to move on to the next group. Okay, group number two, this is your reading. You chose the otter. Otter. Very playful energy. This is the water element, of course. So um, maybe, you know, very emotional, childlike type energy. I'm picking up on the blues and like the green. So we're getting like throat and um heart chakra this may be something that you're working on right now or this may be a part of your journey as far as opening up more as loving yourself loving others showing compassion also speaking up and expressing yourself um expressing yourself can be um just speaking it could be leadership it could be um also expressing yourself as far as creatively as well so you may for some reason i'm picking up on a podcast i don't know why um maybe someone that picks group two may be thinking about doing a podcast so um whatever it whatever passion you have with that i say go with it you know hey <laughs> so let's dive into the cards Dear ancestors, guides, please relay the highest message for group two. Is good. What do they need to know on their adventure? What do they need to know? This is past energy. Okay. Get a clear one. Past energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Present energy. Pop of swords. Where are you going? Okay. What will you experience? How will you handle challenges? Mm. And lessons and outcomes. This one. Interesting. Okay, let's get it. Past energy is the moon. Okay, we talked about um, emotions. Uh, playfulness is the otter. It can be childlike spirit. So that means also with the moon, past energy, you could have been very swayed, very naive, very gullible. I'm just going to put it out there. Okay, very... Um, Maybe like the head in the clouds or 
um, it's really like escapism type of type of energy, type of feel, like just trying to find peace in in some way, okay? Uh, because you have to get get over some like emotions. There probably definitely was some hardships along um, in your past, like past traumas. Because I'm looking at the lotus uh, flowers here and um, in this deck, so it's like some things that you had to get yourself out of. You had to pull yourself out of maybe uh, hard obstacles, hard situations, toxic situations, and that made you. Um, that made you stronger, yes, but also maybe you had to depend on uh, other people or maybe because you're so compassionate and so lighthearted that you, you believe that everyone is as uh, truthful and loyal as you are. And I think that's some, maybe a lot of the lessons that you had to, to learn um, during this time. So the present moment, yeah, we have five of swords. Five of swords. <sighs> so presently, it could be two situations. You could be in a position where you have put your foot down and you are now uh, in a position of changing this. You may have became a little bit cold. And you are cutting off things. You may even be uh, a little passive aggressive or um, undermining um, something. Because the throat chakra, you can, of course, if it's blockages, you could not speak up for yourself. But it also... It can be how you speak to people. The tone, it might be a little bitterness in here in the present moment, okay? So, or, you know, it, again, this might be something that people are doing to you and the past trauma is coming up and you don't know how to go through these changes. You're probably at a stand, so you're probably very worried and distraught because you're also whatever this person is doing to you presently it could be a person it can be a situation whatever you're going through this could be mentally because the swords have to do with the mind okay uh, communication right um whatever that whatever experience that you're going through is causing a little conflict and it's bringing up old baggage that you are going to have to work through, that you are going to have to rise above, and that you're going to have to see the bigger picture in some things. In order for, you may have to leave a situation. You may um, have to Go back and speak your truth is what I'm hearing. I'm just hearing like stand your ground. Okay. We're going to move on. Where are you going? Where are you going? We got four of wands in reverse. This is like the celebration card, the home card. This could be the wedding card, right? But in this where are you going situation, I feel like you're heading towards um, disappointment. I'm just going to say it there. Disappointment. That's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, you may pass energy could still be underlying because the moon can also be like the subconscious. Okay, so with the subconscious mind, you may be um, fantasizing or you might um, feel you may have this narrative in your head where you picture that things are one way, but they really aren't. Okay, so in the present moment, you have to decide what's best for you. 
in order to find happiness within self. And I feel like this is this may be a journey, an adventure, self discovery as far as like self love. Okay, definitely uh, self love. This may be also um, maturity, step stepping up into um, more independence and freedom. Okay. Yeah. All right. What will you experience? The devil in reverse. The devil in reverse. I really sense that you're going to be met with a lot of your, your demons, okay? Your fears, your anxieties. And with this, I feel like it's a lot of shadow work that you're probably embarking on you might even um, be embarking on a, a dark night of the soul journey as far as going within and really and unlocking the um the hidden truths about yourself that you probably don't want to address you know but this is for your healing this is for your growth you know it's funny that they have the snake here <laughs> with flames and the snake here even though it's just the devil card of course it can be fear uh bondage for sure um bondage for sure and with the four of wands this could be uh leaving a toxic situation a toxic relationship okay for sure this could be um just leaving uh out of bondage or yeah removing the bondage and the limitations that you place on yourself. This could also uh, be the snake could be the uh, protector or the uh, gatekeeper of your shadow. So I feel like if you speak to this snake, this slithery, this could be um, maybe your anxiety or maybe your inner critic or um, what you're focusing on right now in the present moment with this despair and this five of swords energy. It may look scary. It may feel scary what you're going through um but the snake here also gives me hope because the snake is the symbol of kundalini spiritual awakening so with it being the gatekeeper it's the gatekeeper to your awakening because once you find the truth within yourself your deepest fears and to realize that these fears do not have control over you that you have the power to rise up and endure and persevere, then this is how you rise above, okay? So you're going to experience um, maybe a dark night of the soul or like a kundalini awakening, okay? And how do you handle these challenges? You have handled them with great discipline. I feel like once you tap in and you decide for yourself, this is the level that you're wanting to, um, once you accept and embark on this journey and meet the gatekeeper and go through this shadow work in the dark night of the soul, okay? You're, you're going to handle these challenges with very discerning energy. You are going to pick yourself up, strap up your boots, and you are going to get this done because you are tired of being just a loaf, okay? Yeah, you're going to be determined. You're going to be um, very calculated and very, um, you're going to rise up to the occasion and you're going to recognize the power that you hold. 
you that you probably even didn't couldn't even fathom that this was inside of you or who you really are. Okay, I feel like the, a lot of these adventures are you embarking on. We're talking about self discovery. Okay, I guess that's the ultimate journey, huh? All right, and then lessons and outcome surrender the hangman. You accept total acceptance of where you've been and where you're going. And you realize that where you're going, you don't probably don't want. So you're recalculating and you're finding the healing that you need. Okay. And once that, and this is, the emperor is also setting boundaries, setting boundaries. Okay. So once you get yourself out of this um, toxic situation, I feel like once you realize that this is not heading anywhere, this isn't heading in the direction that you want, once you go within and realize that your fears don't have control over you, that the bondage and restraints that you have are within self and you let go of those and then you awaken to your power, Freedom, even though this is the hangman, right? Surrenderance, acceptance, peace. Peace. Okay? I love this for you, group two. I love this. Okay? I hope that you all enjoyed. I'm going to pull one more card to say you on your way. Um... I would love to hear from you. Make sure you leave a comment. If you don't want to share your whole testimony, I understand. I understand. Uh, leave me a snake emoji. Leave me a snake emoji. Okay? Love it. All right. This is the soul's lessons. Final messages for group two. To send them on their way. loneliness. I know that I am never alone. If you feel like you can't get out of a situation, seek community. Okay? Seek community. It doesn't have to be necessarily where you live. It can be online. It can be a lot of places. And also know if you also, when it's all said and done, when you leave the the sister circle or you leave the, the um, the I don't know how I was going to say drum circle or just like a meet and greet or whatever, know that your ancestors, spirit, your, your guides are always with you, are always with you. Know that you are never alone in this journey. When you need to call on some strength, call on some strength. Okay? Continue. If you want, if you need to just pray, 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 affirm, say affirmations. Okay? If you want to get into some candle magic or magic in general, get into that bag. And if you have questions about uh, what, you know, rituals or spell work you can do, you can um, come to me as well. All right. But know that you are never alone. You are never alone in this process. Even though this journey can push you into solitude, but that's where you find yourself and you find that blanket of protection. Okay. All right. I love you all, group two. Okay. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Woo. Right. So, group three. Okay, group number three, this is your reading. You chose the starfish, the captivating, alluring starfish, right? 
beautiful, beautiful animal, right? Um, however, like just try to seem to hide. Um, you may even also question uh, your beauty. This is water, the water element, so a lot of emotions here. You may be hyper uh, aware or hypersensitive when it comes to your self-image or who uh, your reputation. You're constantly um, hyper, just hyper aware of how you look, your appearance, and all these things. So with the starfish energy, is saying, can you find the beauty in who, in who you are and be okay with that and, and shine and put yourself and put put yourself in um, positions to where you can shine, believing in yourself. Okay, all right. All right, what adventure are you embarking on? Let's get it. Let me shuffle a little bit more. Okay, this is the path energy. Spirit ancestors, guys, what messages do you have for? Group three. This is present energy. Where are you going? Future energy. Okay. What will you experience? How will you handle challenges? Oops. That was two. One more. Okay. Lessons and outcome. That was quick. All right. So past energy, we have death. Death. So you may have been, uh, it could have been a lot of endings that have happened in your past. You might have experienced a death within uh, your family or within your circle that you are grieving. You are maybe grieving also a loss, okay? A loss of some things. This could be, uh, <laughs> definitely could be grieving a relationship as well. Uh, just from just the imagery of this. And uh, yeah, just going through some endings. I feel like uh, it's a transformation that has happened in the past that has brought you to where you are now. And it's the chariot. I feel like you've been through that process of transformation, of grief, of going and you, you did all the feels. And now you are focused. You are taking control of your life, you know. Taking control of your life with the chariot card. This chariot card is very uh watery, and because he's um he's on a boat with the two like swordfish I guess, um leading the way, and um yeah very uh this is giving me very visionary type type of energy, very um driven, and maybe you are um. Maybe you are hyper focused on on your goals right now, and it's nothing wrong with that. I will say, but it could be to the extreme, right? This is also giving me like Saturn energy as well, uh, Saturn and Capricorn energy or Aquarius because uh, we got the starfish, right? Because Saturn is Aquarius's co ruler. So this could be um, 10th house or 11th house uh, energy. So we talked about reputation and all that stuff. Um, that's 10th house. Um, 11th house is like groups and friends and also hopes and wishes, okay? So you very, you're very determined on reaching your goals, okay? The outcome is where are you going? The moon. Where are you going? The moon. Okay. I feel like with this, I feel like you're heading towards um, seeking a deeper meaning, seeking um, 
truth within self. I feel like you are also um, embracing cycles, embracing cycles. So you may be, um, where are you going? You need to learn the when is a good time to rest, when is a good time to um, to manifest, right? When is a good time to use this energy to focus it, okay? Maybe you are, you're constantly, apparently, you're, you're going no matter what phase the moon is in, right? So we got the new moon, we got the first quarter, we got the full moon, we got the last quarter, right? So those all play, there's different um, energies, different meanings to those. So um, right now, but this one, illumination, is the full moon right so you're heading towards illumination you're heading towards manifestations you're heading towards seeing what your your um your visions manifest in the physical realm okay so you go from transforming your life right to actually seeing um all that you want in this life come to pass okay Having a sense of gratitude would definitely help with this, okay? What will you experience? Um, you will experience that you have more options that you that you think there's more opportunities here for you that you are probably overlooking with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, you may also be, once you have these opportunities come before, you may have some trouble uh, choosing, using your intuition, right? Um, using your intuition to choose wisely on this. And then with cups, this is emotions too. So paying attention to how each opportunity makes you feel. Just don't jump the gun, you know, um, like how the chariot, you're just very driven, you're just on go. Um, taking that time, being receptive, right? With the moon energy. Yes, yes, baby. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, seeing how everything um, makes you feel. Take your time. It's not, it's not a rush. It's not, um, it's not a race. And also, I would like to add, hey, baby, to right here. I would like to add that all things that glitter, it's not gold. Yes, yes, all things that glitter is not gold, okay? And sometimes we got to learn that the hard way, right? Look, uh, what was that? What will you experience? So maybe that's probably what's going on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we, how to handle this challenge? If you come up to, with this, you know, you lose sight of a direction of who you are because you're paying attention to... Um, how things look or you know you may choose a certain mate because they fit the picture of how you want to look and how you want people to view you and status and all that stuff that's just an example so there's some resistance here with the hangman in reverse so the challenge is here is to let go is you letting go letting go of the concepts of um of who you who you conjured yourself up to be or um the the restrictions that you put on yourself as far as beauty okay as far as your value as far as your worth okay Opening up to your inner, like your sacral chakra. I want to say your womb, but, you know, if you're a, a, a man, you of course, you don't have a, a, a womb. So your sacral chakra, your creativity, this is where your openness is, your vulnerability is, your where um, your creativity lies as well, but also like your self-love, your self-care. We hold a lot of tension within our sacral chakra. So you may want to, but how can you handle challenges? You can work on the sacral chakra as well, okay? To help um, 
relieve some of this uh, restriction, you know, um, working on your, your self-value. Okay, this is also giving me Venus energy, which is Taurus and, is it Taurus and, um, and Libra, I believe? Yeah, this is, yeah, and it has to do with rela relationships. Relationships, relationships with self, right? relationships with others. There may be uh, restrictions there that you don't want to let go of at this time because you work so hard to achieve them, right? You work so hard because even though this is manifesting, right, with the full moon, these are truths, hidden truths. So sometimes it can also be illusions. Remember, all things that glitter is not gold. So less is an outcome that the this is the will of fortune. We create our own reality is what is what I'm getting. And you have to take a step back to look at what are you creating in your life? Is it really of sub substance or is it just for show? Okay. Also, you need to just evaluate that not everything is going to render the results that you want. Okay. But that does not mean that you are less than that you aren't valuable, that you can't shine in, in all spaces. But you have to believe in that in yourself, okay? This is a lesson that is uh, very um, pivotal in your journey. And once you recognize this, this is where the power begins. This is where you, you no longer are just uh, the character waiting on um, things to happen or just on go, keep going through this rat race. You take a step back and you are now the, the author, right? You are, you are taking time to observe and you are creating, co-creating with the universe because all of this is happening for your highest good. Um, I'm getting also uh, rejection is God's protection or these are lessons learned in order for you like character the development type thing. This is just um, a pivot point in your journey to redirect you and where you really need to head. And that's a part where once you know your value, in your worth, you will shine. You will shine in all spaces. You will see the value in things that maybe others don't see. And you bring, you bring that to the table. You bring light to that to help people see. And once you do that, you, I'm getting a lot of like trendsetter type energy here very innovative so um yeah stop playing yourself smaller stop um worrying about what other people think or um comparing yourself to others sometimes it's easier said than done it's all right but um yeah i feel like letting go of that resistance and once you work through this it will all um once you, you'll see the bigger picture and you will learn how to um, call something in your life with uh, more ease and grace and not force, okay? And not force, okay? And I feel like maybe this, your past energy jump-started and fueled this. And I feel like once you have a broader perspective you're able to um to really change your life for the better okay group number three i hope you enjoyed okay yes yes i'm gonna um pull 
one uh, oracle card for you. I would love to hear from you. All right. If you don't want to leave a whole testimony, that's okay. Leave me a star card, a star, I mean, a star emoji. And yeah, if you want to dive deeper into this message or another um, area of life, just make sure you check out my website, msbotanica.com, and I got you. Okay. All right, Spirit, what is the final message for group number three? Final message. Forgiveness. Mm. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Mm. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving others of past trauma. Releasing that. Um, yeah, I really feel like whatever happened in the past, it was a transformation, but it... it steered you in the wrong direction and this is something that you have to you know release forgive forgive not for them or not for you know well not for them or any other situation for yourself okay forgive okay all right group number three i hope that you enjoy i love you all and i will catch you in the next one see ya <laughs>